Happy Friday morning, everyone. This is Beverly Adams, the A&R Program Assistant for the UGA Extension Office here in Forsyth County with my beneficial insect of the week, Brachnid wasp. What are Brachnid wasps? Although highly variable in appearance, they're usually dark with four transparent wings and rarely over one half inch long. Their size and the fact that there are over 15,000 described species make them, make them difficult to notice, much less identify. So here's some examples of different brachnid wasp. Quality that makes this insect worth noticing is that most of them are parasitoids, parasites that kill their host. They like to feed on things we don't like in our gardens. Hornworms, caterpillars, beetles, aphids, squash bugs and stink bugs are among the many pest members of the Brachnodia family considered gourmet delicacies. Different species attack their insects, insect hosts during different stages of development as eggs, larvae, pupa, or adults. They may become internal or external parasites. The Brachnid females, they can use the ovipositor, the two through which eggs are laid to sting, and you'll see one to the left. Um, they generally don't sting unless trapped or mishandled, and the sting is considered medically harmless. Here's some different beneficial attributes. The individual species tend to be specialized to a particular host. A good example is the Cotesia congregatus. They're less than an eighth inch long, black with yellowish legs and clear wings. The tiny wasp considers the tobacco hornworm and the tomato hornworm meals on wheels. The female wasp uses her ovipositor to lay eggs just under the skin of an unlucky, unlucky hornworm. As the eggs hatch, the larvae feed on the hornworms, um, viscera literally eating a hornworm alive. The larvae chew their way out through the host's skin when they mature. Once outside, the future wasp pupate, spinning tiny oval cocoons that look like insects' um, eggs along the external back and sides of the worm. These fellows and ladies are not just innocently hitching a ride. When the adult wasps emerge from the cocoons, the already weakened hornworm will soon die, thus preventing any further defoliation on tomato plants. So, if you see a bright green hornworm carrying what looks like a clutch of white colored insect eggs on its back, leave it there. The hornworm is not only feeding its own destruction, but also carrying potential destroyers of hornworm brothers, sisters, and descendants. That means we get those useful, luscious tomatoes right off the vine, the brachnids get a meal and a future, and the hornworms get gone. So if you look to the right, those are some examples of the hornworms with those cocoons um, sticking out of them. So the beneficial insect of the week this week is the Brackton wasp. I'm Beverly Adams, the A&R Program Assistant for the Forsyth County Extension Office here in Cumming. This is our contact information. If you have any questions um, regarding any type of horticultural issues you may have, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can call us, email us, reach out to us through our Facebook or our website. I'll be back next week with my disease of the week. I hope you all have a great weekend.